evaluate limit for x square minus 2x minus 3 divided by x square minus 4x plus 3 where x approaches 3. So let's substitute 3 here and see what do we get. So we get 3 square which is 9 minus 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3 divided by 3 square which is 9 minus 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3. Now in the numerator we get 9 minus 6 as 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. Denominator, 9 minus 12 is minus 3 and minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So we get 0 over 0 after substituting the limiting value. So if we get this, which is not meaningful for mathematics, we say that this is in determinate quotient form. Now these type of questions we can really have a limit. Now we know that x is not defined at 3 since we get 0 in the denominator. So, but that does not say that we cannot have limit. Limit is the value which we are approaching. So we can still have limit. We'll find the limit after simplifying this expression. Now both numerator and denominator should have x minus 3 as their factor since we are getting 0 after substituting 3, right? So let's factor it out and then solve for limit. So we can write this expression as limit x approaches 3. Now to factor the numerator, what we can do is we will do product and sum. So the product should be p times q, let's say two numbers, should be minus 3 and sum, that means p plus q should be minus 2. So the two numbers can be minus 3 and plus 1, right? So if you add minus 3 and plus 1, you get minus 2. So we can factor numerator as x minus 3 times x plus 1. How about the denominator? For denominator, p times q is equal to plus 3 and p plus q is minus 4. So in this case, the two numbers are minus 3 and minus 1. So when you add minus 3 and minus 1, you get minus 4. So our factors are x minus 3 times x minus 1, correct? So as expected, x minus 3 is a factor in numerator and also in denominator. That's why we got 0 over 0, right? So we can now cancel this or we say x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is 1. 1 times anything is that expression. So we get limit x approaches 3 and we have x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now we can substitute 3 and evaluate the limit. So we get 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 which is 4 over 2 and that gives us 2 as our answer. So what we see here is that the function has a hole at x equals to 3. 3 is not in the domain of the function. But as we approach 3 from either side, we approach a value which is 2. And that is the limit of the function, right? And therefore, our answer is 2 for this particular question. Thank you and all the best.